Good morning, everybody. Once again, it's raining. I'm so over the rain. I know this is still considered spring. But my goodness, I'm over the rain. Over the rain, over the rain. But I just have to think that that's my ancestors congratulating on whatever is going on. Sad state of affairs in my city, though. Um... That little boy went missing, four-year-old. Oh, it just touched my heart. Lord have mercy. Four-year-old, autistic, non-verbal little boy went missing on Sunday. How he got out of his apartment, I don't understand. That's the piece I don't understand. But he left his apartment, and they were looking for him, looking for him, looking for him, and they found him yesterday, and he was, yeah. So that kind of broke my heart a little bit. Because I was like, oh my God. You know, and they said that. Sorry about that. My phone is trying to do an update. But anyway, they said loud noises startle him. And he is fascinated by bodies of water. Where they lived by a lake or creek or whatever. And that's where he was found. In the water hurt my heart like are you kidding me like oh my god family just devastated like you know Ooh, a little dip right there now but um anyway so yeah i woke up to that news this morning i was just like oh for some kind of way i did not prepare dinner yesterday or you know take out anything for dinner yesterday so we had breakfast for dinner yes we did um so today <laughs> i got up and i was like yeah let me go ahead and get some food going so um i opened up one of my bags of the boneless skinless um chicken thighs and i just put the whole bag in there because my family we like like food <laughs> so I was up chopping onions and bell peppers because this time I didn't meal prep which I should have done it would have been easier to just pull it out the freezer or dump everything in the in the crock pot and just go but today I didn't <sighs> so I had to chop the bell peppers chop up the onion I just used minced garlic out the fridge because I was like I don't have time to be chopping up no garlic cloves okay um Season it really really good. Oh my god. It smells so it smelled good and I hadn't even cooked it yet So I know the taste is gonna be amazing um, And chicken thighs hold a little more juice to them compared to like chicken breast chicken breast can be dry um, Even if you do all the things it still can be dry. I don't care what nobody say um, So I prefer like I'm a dark meat type of person anyway i like thighs and legs um of the chicken they give me breasts i'd be like can't you give me a substitute <laughs> now my husband he loved the breast but i'm like mm, i don't like it um but anyway so i know it's gonna be good and juicy and just smelling just fantastic when i get home so i have a meeting today after work well technically it's still work time but to me when the bell rings and it's three o'clock to me that's like after work so i have a meeting and i don't know how long the meeting is going to go um my boss said fairly a few minutes you know i get up at 3 15 but i mean if i stay a little longer it's, it's no problem i mean i'm still getting paid but just I don't like meetings at the end of my day because I just wonder is that gonna determine how my evening is going to be so that's one reason why I was like let me go ahead and get this food on because I don't want to have to be you know coming home late and no food done so only thing I gotta do when I get home is make the mashed potatoes praise God hallelujah um so, yes, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do today for dinner. We're having chicken cacciatore um, because that's what my family liked. They was enjoying it. So, yeah. I think, did I put one less bell pepper in there? I'm not sure. Oh, my God, my AP is not here. Say it ain't so. 
I mean, it's 6.43, but he's normally here at like 6 or 5.30. My AP is not here. That's not cool. Oh, Lord. And my, I would say my right hand in the office, she's not going to be here today or tomorrow, y'all. I was like, she kept saying, can I take off tomorrow? Can I take off tomorrow? Would you really be? Oh, he's pulling in. Okay, I'll be back after work. Hey, y'all, I'm back. Oh, my goodness. So, I cut the camera because, as you can see, there's a car right next to me. That's my one of my boss's cars. Now, not the head boss, but he's second in command. But anyway, that's why I was looking for my AP this morning. So, he came. As you can see, I got the... I don't know if you can see all of it. I got my back seat down. Y'all. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Let me tell you about the blessing. Oh, I'll tell you about the blessing, then I'll tell you about the lesson. Oh, Jesus. Huh? I had a rhyme on that one. Um, so, one of our parent liaisons, she's also my hairdresser, right? Camera cut, sorry. But one of our parent liaisons, she is, uh, she is my hairdresser. She does my hair. And, um, she... You know, when I go to the hairdresser, she always talks with me, you know, and I was telling her about how I was preparing for Miss Peanut's um, graduation party. You know, I'm already, like, preparing and <laughs> preparing and getting stuff together. So, today, she was, you know, it's the last week of school, so everybody's, like, trying to clean out their spaces and stuff like that. She comes in there with this big old cart, and she was like, do you want some of these? I was like, Huh? She said, for the graduation party. And I'm thinking, what party? She said, for the baby. I said, oh, y'all, she gave me like 10, 10 racks, the, the um, metal holders that you put the, the silver pans in and you put the fire underneath. Chow, yes. I was like, oh my God. I said, are you serious? And she was like, yeah. She said, I'm splitting them between you and one of our deans because we both got kids graduating next year. And so, and then on top of that, not only did she give me the chafing dishes, but when I went to her room to get the, the burner things, um, she only had like so many burners. So I think it was like six maybe. So I started to buy some more. Well, it depends on how much hot food I have. But anyway, um, she was like, oh, you could take this too. And so then, because at first she gave me just like a couple of silver pans. Next thing you know, she had a whole nother stack of silver pans. And then she um, gave me like utensils, like tongs and spoons. And y'all, when I tell you blessings on top of blessings, because I already was um, pricing them. Because at first I was like, well, maybe I should just get the, the, um, like the, metal ones you know how you can go to um the thrift store and they have them right there because i've seen a lot of them at the thrift store and then of course you know was it macy's i think was selling them at one time that like you can get them for a deal during christmas time so i was just gonna buy a couple you know because you just never know plus i'm having family in town so i said well that'll come in handy you know just already have them but she gave me all the oh my gosh i got a, a kind of a picture i'll insert it so i was like oh my god look at the blessing i was just so grateful so thankful see when you good to people you get it in return so because at first i didn't think this lady liked me i am not gonna hold you i didn't think this lady liked me at all then she became my hairdresser and i was like it's not that she didn't like me she's very passionate she reminds me of my mom even though she's not as old as my mom but she has that motherly, you know, she's like a motherly figure. She kind of fussy, kind of like my mom a little bit. But, um, yes, true blessing. She was like, oh, yeah, I'm cleaning out stuff, and we don't need it, and da-da-da-da. And I was like, um, yes, ma'am, I take all of that. So I thought that was just a blessing, you know. I think what I am going to do, I'm going to start um, stocking up on aluminum foil. I also, I'm probably not going to buy it right now, but I think I'm going to buy the, um, you know how you can get the to-go kits or to-go plates? I think I would want to buy some of those as well. But yeah, so that was the blessing. Y'all, let me tell you about the lesson. 
<laughs> Let me tell you about the lesson. Be careful to be careful messing with God's anointed and appointed because you never know what will happen. You never know what's going to come back on you. Case in point. So there is a person who has been very mean, very nasty to me since I started at my job. Now I don't think I, I don't think I've complained about her on the channel. I don't think so. But at any given rate, the lady was mean. I mean, like I had only been there two, three days. And I mean, this woman was nasty to me. And I was like taken back because I I don't even know you and this how you you know so anyway I said something to my boss my boss you know I thought had handled it because that you know it seemed like it was handled well then a few months a few months later so see that was September so October November December January February March six months later yeah I broke a nail six months later mm-hmm Six months later, um, something happened again. And at that point, I was like, you know what? <laughs> you know what? I'm not going to disrespect you, right? I'm not going to disrespect you. I'm not going to call you out your name. I'm going to be very professional. I am going to report you, not to my boss, but to your boss. And see, and at that point, when I did do the reporting, I went from last year to current in my report. So, for them to see that this is not something that's just, you know, happenstance or whatever. I'm No. So, you know, because the person is not only rude and disrespectful to me, but also to the children. I don't like that. The children that are, you know, special ed or special needs, I don't like that. You know, and then um, the staff, just horrible, right? Even at my PTA, you know. So, anyway, I sent like a book worth of complaint. I'm not even kidding. So, um, something happened recently. And I didn't file a complaint, but um, I witnessed what happened. And I directed the person to speak to our boss. And then I talked to our boss. And I don't know how it got to HR. Because it went above her boss. But, yeah. Yeah. So HR came to see us today and I had a meeting and I was just like, mm. um, so we shall see what happens. I don't know, but you got to be careful about messing with guys anointed and appointed. You know, this lady didn't know me from Adam and she talking crazy to me. I mean, how, you know, and here's the thing. And that's even with the staff. You don't know what my position truly means you know just because the title says secretary don't mean that's all that I do which in case in point that's not what all I do so yeah it was interesting so we all had to stay after work it was six of us we all had to stay after work for this and I was like wow but you just gotta be careful you gotta be careful how you talk to people so once again I am like, I'm, you know, learning from all this stuff, right? Because that's not how I want to be going forward. You know, we can kiki and all that, but when it comes to business, I need you to be about business. I'm not going to be nasty with you. It is what it is. Just like today, I had, you know, I had sent a directive and they telling me what they're not going to do. No. Did you read the email? Did you look at the email? Did you click on the link in the email? And then, well, I'm not doing it. Mm. 
Okay. Because see, as of right now, title hasn't changed yet. So I'm like, okay, I get you. And I asked admin, could you just do an addendum to what has been sent? Because as of right now, okay, I'm still in this role. I have not. <laughs> so, oof, oof, God, it hurts. So, yeah. But even with the directive today at the email, like, follow instruction of the email. I'm not going to do this. I'm not. Who? What, say what now? Yes, you are going to do that. Or there's going to be an issue. But that Because that means you're going against your directive. So, anyway. But I had a good day. Other than that, I had a good day. Oh, Lord. I got to go to the house to deal with Pepper the cat. Miss Peanut says she's been cutting up. I said that's because her routine is off. See, Pepper and Miss Peanut, they thrive on routine. So, Pepper's routine is she get up in the morning, she come have breakfast, she get her cuddles, and then she goes back into the basement area. And then she comes out of the basement when we come home in the afternoon. Well, but with Miss Peanut being home, you know, she's like, oh, I get to just clown it. No, 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 no. That's not what we're doing here. So, I said she's got to get up, have breakfast, get her cuddles, and then she's got to go back to the basement until the end of the day, end of the after, you know, the early afternoon or whatever. And Mom, she's cutting up. She's doing as you do. I'm like, um, I'm not there. You're a cat. So I'm going there and see what's going on. Because Miss Pena, she, I don't want to spray her. How is she going to learn and listen? Spray bottle for a reason. So, by then that, oh, I have Miss Pena's portfolio. We won't know her grade, but I have her her portfolio. We won't know her grade till the end of December. It's interesting, though. I got to read a lot of it. I was like, wow. Her teacher told me she left a lot of her art there, too. Like, she took the art that she wanted to have, but then the rest she just kind of left, so I asked him for it. <sighs> Still working on my milestone pictures. Because I was like, you know, I kept thinking to myself, has she been a part of stuff? But she has been a part of stuff. More so this year than any other year. But, yeah. So anyway, I got to figure out what I'm going to do with this stuff. I don't have a box for it yet. But yeah, we need all of that. And some of that we'll probably use for the family reunion piece. Other half we'll use for Miss Peanut's graduation. But I'm so happy for the blessing. Oh my God, that's such a blessing. Such a blessing. Hmm. I think I'm going to have to buy me another one of these outfits. Because the, the little white is starting to pucker like it's trying to come off and I know when I wash it again it's going to be like rip unless I don't unless I put it in a um, I could put it in one of those like mesh bags and maybe that will protect it from getting all ripped off I'll figure it out something I don't know but you guys have a great day and I'll see you all in the next video Bye, guys.